Hello everyone, I'm Nick and welcome to my channel. Uh, here I talk about all things architecture and design. Today I want to talk about a competition project that I've just completed this week and sort of go through the concept and design process. It's a design of a football club for the new Mains football team here in Scotland and I took part in it because I've never designed a sports facility kind of building before. I'm still an architecture student so I don't have that much exposure to different building types. So yeah, I was excited to expand my knowledge on architecture and I hope if you're watching this video, I hope you find something useful out of it that you can apply to your own design in the future. So the project brief is basically they are a semi-professional football club in the village of New Mainz, run solely by volunteers and they want to become, you know, redefined as a more welcoming and impressive club to draw in bigger players in the community. Now let's go through the schedule. Asking for a home team training ground and some public pitches. A viewing deck to watch the games. Fencing to keep the ball from going over. Garage for ground maintenance. Club offices. Large modern state of the art. Home team changing area. So this has to be bigger than the other changing rooms. Flexible multi-purpose rooms for the community with catering. Classroom, gymnasium, modular design. Ideally to save costs and some sustainability suggestions. We'll focus on community, exclusivity, and sustainability on this project. Now the town's located here. It's in between Glasgow and Edinburgh, and about half hour drive from Glasgow. Now the site's located here. The town center's here. Up north is dominated by housing. There's a school here and here. The main road here has some shops and takeaways. Commercial auto shops here, 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 and here. There's a church here and a bowling club here. Everything else is open farmland. And there's also uh, land being cleared out for new housing units. And there's two parts to the concept, the master plan and the building. I'm gonna go through the master plan first. The football pitch currently is here. Right, there's the entrance coming in here. The changing pavilion is here at the moment and car park is here. Um, there's a about two meter level change coming from here to here, which is why it gets flooded sometimes, this field. So they want to change it and have the new pitches over here. Now, before we get into that, I want to look at the wider area first. Okay, I didn't get it in frame, so I'm gonna repeat myself. Um, there's a road here, okay? There's a road here, a road here. This is where the pitch is currently. Uh, there's an auto shop here. There's a road here, here. There's another road here. And these all lead to the center of town over here. Now, these are all auto shops, auto shops, auto shops. There's a school here school and these are all um, houses it's two-story semi D's there's a bowling club here right and there's the bowling club bowling field there's a church here as well this is the main road of the town these are houses 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 the first thing I looked at is the connections how can we bring people to the club and make it more accessible. There's an opening here and, oh my God, I drew on my table. Okay, there's an opening here and these are just rows of houses, but there's a break here. Oh my God, I did it again. Ah, okay. There's a break here which are just like trees. Do I have green? Yeah, I don't have green color pen. So just trees, right? And it's unbuilt, unused. So we can sort of like clear it, clear it here and then draw a straight line from that part to the where the current entrance is to create a route from the main main road currently where the main road is and come down here another potential connection is the from the church here uh, which is currently blocked off by a wall and this is where the car park is if we take off away this wall, we can draw another route down where the club is. 
having two roots, right? Now, apart from that, there's two openings here and here, which is about 10 meter wide, which is enough, I think, to open it up and have another, have the roots coming through here. So you can bring people down from the center of town from here and effectively create uh, and effectively um, tying these all these streets up together. Now by doing this we sort of um, divide the site up into manageable plots of land, you know? And okay wait, I forgot to show. There's a <laughs> boundary here as well. There's commercial auto shops here as well. So now this led me to think about what else can we add to what is being asked of us. We know there's a bowling club here. We know there will be a football club here. And we also know that the town lacks a communal focal point to gather and you know, spend recreational time with family and friends. So what if we can add more clubs? We can have a mini golf club here a rugby club here with a rugby field we can also have maybe i don't know an aquatic center here a main clubhouse spa facility over here we can also use this center plot over here as like a kind of meeting square or a plaza with trees and it can also be used as a i need a blue as a pool detention basin for sustainable urban drainage systems where all the water from this will slope down here also visually links all these pavilions that links all these pavilions visually to the center here uh, now as a draft master plan concept this is what we've come up with and it could definitely use a bit of work but due to the time constraints we just went ahead with this plan and moved on to the design of the football club. Okay, so this is the... Uh, what is, what's this called? A, um, the site plan, right? This is the site plan and we based the concept around the master plan that we talked about earlier. So I'm going to draw over it. West and east. And the sun goes from here to here, right? We know that there are two roads parallel to the site here two roads so this part is coming from the center of the masses pen center and um where the locals are coming from new mains new mains below here we made another path if you've seen the diagram just now that we showed um the mma gym is over here and there's a water feature here, right? So first we thought about extending the site that was given before it was about this big, right? The site, we thought about increasing it to include more football pitches. So we thought about how we can make this place exclusive to the new mains football team. So we thought of having, placing the, um, the pavilion like in the middle of the site so we then can separate the home team training ground from the public pitches right so we would have uh, two full size pitch two full size 11 aside and then you know additional a um, seven aside seven and side seven a and five asides one two three four five you create a separation and this place feels more exclusive for the training ground. Home team, right? Yeah. Now there are two roads parallel, right? So that compelled us to create uh, access points on both sides. So you would come in from here and here. This side, the east side, the east side would be addressing the influx of visitors from the center of the master plan and also from New Maine's town. And this part would be for, uh, the west part would be for the out of town visitors and also play entry. This side would have car parking, 
parking and you can have you know bicycle parking over here the way we arrived with a rectangular uh, form is that because the um, pavilion is flanked by pitches on its north and south axis a um, it made more sense to have a bulk of the facade facing the both sides so you can have a continuous uh, visual link to the fields now let's move on to the floor plan we decided to place the changing facilities the club offices the gym and the home team you know area on the ground floor as it made more sense on a functional standpoint and then um, and then we placed the viewing deck and the you know communal facilities and the bar and restaurant up above now initially we thought about placing the programs on the side let's stay you know a and b and have a single corridor running through the middle if you look at sports buildings for example like a stadium they usually separate the circulation of the public and the you know team slash service circulation so you know they don't like bump into each other and they don't clash into each other around around the plan for us to have a single corridor with the public coming in from here and the public in coming in from here and also the players coming in from here it wouldn't work so we went ahead and decided to separate the corridors on the sides so circulation one circulation two just close this off and which means Oh, I kind of draw doors. My bad. Okay, so the public can enter through here. And then this could be the team entrance, right? The play entrance. So, you know, there's a separate uh, corridor for players and, you know, the offices, you know, servicing the building. Then you have, play uh, you have the public entrance up above. Then we place the programs in the middle. Programs. Now... If we have floor to ceiling glazing on the facades, on the north south facades, we can have a uh, isolated gain space. To explain it really simply, let's say for example, you have a glass, for, for in our case, you have a glass uh, room separating the interior room, right? Let's draw the wall, let's draw the floor interior right so you would then uh, this would be the sun space right you would have the sun when it's up and the sun would you know shine <laughs> and then the heats get stored in this uh, in this uh, room with the thermal mass uh, floors and the wall and throughout the night it slowly radiates the heat in the middle into the into into the room in the middle so this helps you know reduce energy consumption in heating the building starting off with the organization of the programs in the middle we thought of where we would like to have the home team area you know the lounge area the changing rooms the classrooms and we thought it best to place it somewhere over here because this is where the play, play entrance is so to give them like a private zone on the west side of the building because we assume that most visitors of uh, the, the building will be coming from you know the center of the master plan and the locals in New Mains over here. The reception we would place over here as it made more sense. So reception, the door here. You can have the office booth, um, office booth, you know, and you know some some work desk here can have the office lounge lounges here right now we know that the reception office area is going to be here and the home team area is going to be here and then we thought about where would we want to play the place the changing facilities the public changing facilities right and it made more sense to place it in the middle as there's entrance from both sides so there's equal access then we could sort of divide it and you know have the uh the public 
change room one, public change room two over here. And then this could be the, uh, uh, the away team, change room three, change room four for the officials, right? So the basic layout would be the lockers here, the toilets here, and the showers here, right? And door. Oh my God, I can't draw doors, man. Door. Oh my God. Ah, I can't draw doors. The people coming in to play football from the public would come in here, change, and go out to the fields. This is the public. So we'll have the entrance to the public pitch uh, here. And this one would be the training ground, the, the home pitch. And this could be, you know, the storage or the garage for the, you know, field maintenance. So you can service, you know, both sides. You can to group the changing facilities all together, we decided to place the um, the changing rooms for the uh, home team uh, beside it, right? Group it together so it's more efficient to run the building. Right, you would have the showers here and the toilets here, right? And then you would have the, you know, the lockers here. So, you know, lockers, lockers. Sorry, sorry, I can't draw the straight lines, sorry. Okay, so this is cool as well because then you can have the, you know, the janitor closet over here and you can have a door here that connects to the uh, home team locker area. So the janitor can, you know, have a room here that's, that's uh, you know, convenient to service, you know, to clean the home team area, to clean this uh, public locker room and the officials and uh, a um, away team locker room. And uh, yeah, I watched the, um, <laughs> I watched the film um, Moneyball the other day while planning this and they had a, home gym, you know, Moneyball is a movie of a baseball team and they, they had a gym next to their locker room so I included this in my plan. So you could have a room next to the lockers and this is like a gym area just for the team. And this would be where, oh my god, I can't draw, they enter. So this would be like the corridor and um, this glass. And this would be entrance into, you know, the team lounge. The lounge, you know, we can have pool tables here, right? And a classroom over here. Yep, classroom, class. Then this space could be reserved for the, you know, the public gym, public gym. And the entrance can come like this, right? In this corridor, would be all glass, right? We uh, we decided to have a solid wall here to break the glass up to show that you know this is the um, this is the exit to somewhere to the pitch. You know, if 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 we if we just have like a continuous plane of glass for the whole facade, then it'll be a bit uh, difficult to locate where the exits are. Yeah, so we use the walls as a a reference point for the exit, right? Now, to get to the upper floor, we would have two uh, vertical cores here to get to the upper floors. And these cores would be solid load-bearing walls to serve as the building structure, right? So, uh, this would be a lift and this is the stairs, right? So when the public comes in, they want to see the games or they want to go to the community facilities above, they come in on both sides and they go take the stairs or take the lift up, right? And we can have, you know, doors connecting the office to this part and, you know, uh, doors that open up connecting the player area, player lounge area to the circulation. So it's, you know, so it's, it keeps the circulation flowing, right? Cool. Um, let's move on to the first floor. Now this is the vertical core uh, structure, the walls that will be supporting the roof that I will talk about in a bit. Now for the second floor, the same thing. You know, we would have the program in the middle and the viewing deck on both sides. So you can have a view 
to the games on the public pitches and a view to the games on the uh, home team training ground, you know? The wall, the core structure wall was here down below, right? We follow the line up here. And this space could be the, the multi-purpose room, right? And this could be all glass, glass. And it could be separated with these um, partitions to be, you know, different rooms if you want to. And we then place the, you know, the cafe, bar, and restaurant over here, right? So you enter through here buy and restaurant enter enter and have the kitchen in the middle over here that way the kitchen can serve the um, the cafe but then you know, can also have a uh, access point to serve the um, the multi-purpose room for catering you know and you know storage here for the multi-purpose room storage here for the kitchen and yeah, then this side we can have, you know, the shop, you know, for football stuff. We can have, you know, the football boots, you know, the jerseys and yeah, and the cashier in the middle. So we enter in through the middle here and the same thing on the other side. Yep. Uh, then to make it easier for the member of the public to go to the toilets, we would have the toilets on top here as well, so toilets and so here on both sides, right? That, 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 that. Okay, so yeah, that's basically the plan. This is where the seating is. This is like one meter glass fencing, not fencing, but just like glass. Seating, 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 seating. Right, nice seating. So you get the idea. So this is the plan, yeah? Nice, great. Now for the structure, we thought of having a, you know, a U-beam waffle grid resting on top of the vertical cores and, you know, timber panel ceilings and joists to hold the uh, roof decking up. Yeah, so this is a render of the final design. You can see what we went with a thicker roof to, you know, give it a visual anchor in this like massive site. And for the exterior facade, we have weathered timber cladding. We wanted to use, uh, you know, sustainable materials, sort of blend in the surrounding a little bit. This is a vertical section of the north-south axis to show, you know, the concept. We have, you know, solar panels on top here on the roof. Right, this is a classic, a um, warm roof deck to keep the interior warm. And then, you know, the center is the programs. Then there's the viewing deck on the sides. You can view the games here. The game, the guy running. <laughs> and you can have a view here. The guy sitting, you know. By the way, if you want to see these drawings in detail, you can head to my website at nickversusarc.com or my Instagram page. I will have it linked in the description box, right? Um, this part this part is the home team locker room and above here is the bar and restaurant and the two corridors here. You can see that you have glazing that you can see out, glazing you can see out. So yeah, that's the design pretty much and yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much the design. Um, yeah, I hope I win. Um, if I don't, you know, either way, win or lose, I learn something and that's what matters, you know? You know, keep trying, keep practicing, and um, you you you'll get there, you know, eventually. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I, um, I hope you learned something. And yeah, if you want to see the uh, drawings in detail, you can visit my website or my Instagram page. Uh, I'll have it linked below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.